I'm making a course about Patreon for other people who are kind of in the same situation as me. What is Patreon? How do you get people in? How do you keep them, et cetera, et cetera. And as I'm planning this and I'm recording it, I'm thinking you guys probably know more than me about what it's like to be on the other side of Patreon. So I think my oh. first question is, did you guys know about Patreon or anything like this before I did it? Because I didn't. Okay, so who do you want, who do you want to answer? I think you can answer this one, yeah? Oh, right. okay, fine. <laughs> Sorry, I don't need to hug anything. I'll be, I'll be quick. Uh, well, I, I do know about Patreon because I, I'm a patron of various other, uh, uh, Ben and David, mm -hmm. uh, so um, uh, Gary Benbridge too. Yep. Uh, I knew of them, for, uh, knew of Patreon from that, etc. So, and then uh, although I've been following you for a bit, um, when you actually made that quantum leap to actually go full time with this, I thought, cool, what a ballsy lady. And mm. uh, I thought, well, he deserves at least a fiver a week, uh, sorry, a month. So, uh, I thought, well, yeah, why not? So, uh, and that's where I'm coming from, really. My next question is, how did I tell you about my Patreon? How did you see it? Did you see it? on Facebook or YouTube. Some people managed to find it before I even announced it. I don't know how, but I I find it hard to talk about it on kind of the wider internet. I found it actually on your uh, weekly uh, blogs online. Oh, okay. but you, I mean, the good thing about it is you're, you don't push it. You don't like, hey, subscribe. You've got to subscribe and stuff like that. Some people yeah. do, that's what turns some people off. But you say, hey, if you like, check out my blogs and check out my patreon oh well why not and uh, also um when you said hey everyone that's a patreon member send me your address i accidentally <laughs> sent you my address before i was a patreon member i'm like oh, this big <laughs> card i was not expecting a card i'm like oh where's this from and i'm like oh no i'm like oh now i gotta <laughs> also i, I basically like, um, reverse <laughs> sent you into patreon by sending you something and I know, it's like, I get something in return. Yeah. It is, I find it really tricky because I don't want to be salesy. I don't want people to feel left out, but also I try and say everything on YouTube, everything on my website, everything I've done for the last four years is free. It's always free. But if you want more, which people do want more, you can yeah. buy it. And I try to, I feel better about it I feel like selling something rather than just saying, give me money. I'm not really comfortable with that. When I've asked Patreons before why they've joined, I've always thought it would be more about the, the stuff. I always see it as more as a, a transaction. But more people tell me that they just join to support me and then it's just bonus stuff rather than for the stuff. And I joined you because you have a YouTube. Mm -hmm. That was on Patreon before. Yeah. They had to give you a... Then I started five pound and moved north for the perks just to help you out. Oh, thank you. I really appreciate it. It's, it's still bizarre to me that, that the internet sends me money in any form. <laughs> I know it's you guys, of course, but um, it takes some getting used to it. I, yeah, I yeah. For years, I put it off for so long because I just thought, I thought it would be just embarrassing to have no, you know, on Patreon, my mum or something, but it doesn't. <laughs> Yeah, the one thing I've also noticed is mean, you don't seem to push super chats very much, which I think maybe in, in a way is good, you know? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Um, they take 30% YouTube does, and it just feels yeah. a bit... I don't, I, there's yeah. better things you could do, I think, to help me than super chats. And also, if I'm... There's always a couple of people in the live streams talking about Patreon. I'd much prefer to send people to Patreon. Um, some people are on both. I'm changing the YouTube so that I only have the cheapest one on YouTube. Because I feel like there's a few people on the higher tiers over on YouTube, but I can't message them. I don't know their name. I don't get their email address. It doesn't tell me when they join. And I just think you're getting a rubbish deal if you're on there compared to Patreon. Because if someone joins Patreon, I'll say welcome. I might send them a video. They can see everything that's going on. And on YouTube, it just, it just gets lost in YouTube because YouTube's crazy. So I'm going to change that to only the $5 one because people love those emojis and they love their, their super stickery mm -hmm. thing by their name so uh, for, uh, YouTube and, yeah, Patreon. Talk. Both. Thank you, and um i prefer the patreon to the youtube so i drop the youtube and up to my patreon yeah that tends to be what i tell people to do now um but i mean both that it doesn't cost me anything to have the youtube and the patreon so i figure i'll leave them both in existence for the people that like youtube but 
yeah I, I'm preferring Patreon more as we go on because at least in Patreon it feels like everybody kind of knows each other and I can put a post and people can talk to each other and stuff like that and on YouTube it's just it's just it's not really a community on YouTube in the same way as Patreon but Patreon's really surprised me I understood what Patreon was for and it's a way basically to get money for stuff it, it, that's what it is but the way I've managed to get to know people in the last kind of year through uh, just some Zoom calls I do or live streams or just chatting in the messages because I can actually reply to the messages, it's been really, really good. I feel so bad when I can't reply to people on Facebook, but my Facebook is just stuck at 100 plus notifications at all points. Whereas if somebody messages me in Patreon, I, I, I think altogether I've got 40 Patreons. So that's much more manageable to be able to reply to people in there which I really like. I was just looking online because that, um, that German mu musician, Sina Drums, mm -hmm. she's got um, you know, 1.7 million subscribers. And I think yeah. it's something like around about 5,000 people supporting her each month. And if you yeah. look at the end of her films, she actually puts the people that are paying the, the highest rate. Mm -hmm. I think they pay $5 for every week. So she sends out a, a video every week. Yeah. And there are so many she can't type the names on the screen yeah. she's only about 20 24 i think she is now oh. but that is just a, the power of uh, you know the internet really you know and everybody making a sc small contribution to help her and we enjoy the music you know yeah good for her that's another thing with with patreon that i've well on patreon you can even make people pay per month or you can make them pay per thing so musicians will make people pay per song they release or per video they make I've always stuck with the per month because I think it's much nicer for someone to know how much they're going to pay. Imagine if I just one week, yeah. you know, about 14 yeah. videos and then everyone's left no. with this horrible bill. So I've always stuck. I do it every time. month. I do it every month. I think that's enough. Yeah, yeah I, I think suddenly went crazy here, and started producing all these extra videos. Yeah. I could be bankrupt. That is very true, yeah. And you would feel ripped off if I put out like a 60 second YouTube short or something and you're like, $5 and that was rubbish. So I think you've all just confirmed exactly what I wanted you to say already. Um, I think I, I think I know you guys pretty well after after all this time. But is there any anything you would want to tell someone who's in the same position as me, who's starting a Patreon, maybe a bit nervous about about doing it? Yeah, start um, ahead. You wait till twenty thousand subscribers. Yeah, I do. Well, I, think I planned. I, I That's my boss. I'll be right back. 10,000 and then 15,000. And then I just put it off and I just put it off and I just put it off. And then I just thought I have nothing to lose, especially when 2020 hit. I was like, I've got the time now to do extra stuff. So I'll do it. Yeah, I, I tend to recommend other people maybe around 5,000 stuff. There. You need to have somebody, but you don't need to have 20,000. I would suggest so if anybody's thinking about it, then do it. Yeah. You know, that's I it. think I think this is I think this has opened up a wonderful new world for a lot of entrepreneurs. Uh, but it's been really good to talk to you. And you have, I think, confirmed everything that I, I thought, which is good. Because if I came in here and you said the complete opposite and I've already filmed half my course, that would not be good. So thank you, everybody. I'm gonna try and do more kind of Zoom calls and um like I want to do Patreon only live streams and stuff so I can actually reply to the comments because I feel really bad but now I have the time I'll be doing that a bit more hopefully but it's been really good to talk to you I will see you I'll see you next excellent good to see you Frank now I've got a face to the name now I know I know so take care everybody cheers yeah. for now bye-bye